One of the things we get asked a lot is, why now for hydrogen? And particularly, I think it's helpful to go back, why didn't hydrogen work over two decades ago when we were talking about the hydrogen economy and really had that false start for the industry? And the fact is, where we're at today is fundamentally different than where we were two decades ago. First of all, we look at the unprecedented amount of renewable energy that has been installed nationwide in trying to meet different states and even corporations and end user goals for reducing their carbon footprint. And what we've seen materialize there is now a need for new technologies, not just to support the integration of renewables within a day. You know, everyone's really familiar with this concept of in the middle of a day, solar overproducing energy, and at nighttime when the sun's down, we need batteries to help support there. And of course, that is an important aspect. But now at the, the amount of renewables we see installed to date, we're actually seeing the need to not just solve that challenge, but how do we take excess renewables that are produced typically in the winter and spring and now shift that to deficits that we see in the summer and fall? And those are new technologies like hydrogen that will play a very important role in helping to integrate renewables and really meet our zero carbon targets. Another important aspect as we think about hydrogen's role is not just energy storage, but actually as a decarbonized fuel. And maybe what some people don't realize is how much hydrogen is used in a lot of our commodities today. And that ranges from chemicals to plastics to, of course, refining, refining oil products, all the way down to the food we eat. Uh, ammonia is used as a fertilizer and its core feedstock is hydrogen. So if our goal as a society is actually to decarbonize, not just power, but across multiple sectors, hydrogen is going to have to play an incredibly important role in helping us to decarbonize power for long duration energy storage and helping us to decarbonize fuels. And as we think again about why now today and versus where we were two decades ago, that's really what has changed is the commitment to decarbonizing as a society and where we're at today versus where we were two decades ago.